Hi, I'm Boone, and this is Boone Slot Car Garage. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to make 132nd scale guardrail. All right? Let's do this. All right. The key to making this guardrail all lies in the roller. Without the roller, we're not going to be able to make any guardrail. So, what I've come up with is two 2 by 2s cut to 8 inches. On the side, you can see where I've ran through two bolts. The lower bolt and the upper bolt are two inches apart. The upper has been slotted so that you can control the pitch of the upper rollers. Sometimes it needs a little bit of fine tuning so that it tracks straight as you're pulling the aluminum through the rollers to create your guardrail. You can see that I've went ahead and locked it in with a couple nuts to hold it into place. The washers themselves are two inch fender washers. I have only one on, uh, on the outer sides and there's two of them in the middle. The uppers are spaced evenly between the other two. That way when it goes through, it creates that whole entire wave effect of the guardrail. Now you wanna go ahead and put some nuts down to lock this into place. I then have half inch washers that you can see that are in between the two inch fender washers and using that spacing. The upper, I have four of the half inch washers between the two two inch fender washers. On the lower, I have three between each set there. So you have the two fender washers in the middle, one on either side of it, and in between there is three half inch washers on either side. Go ahead and find your balance point, lock it into place, and you can see up on top, I went ahead and put some additional screws to help with balancing this thing out. So once you get it so it's all locked in, you can fine thread it through here so that she tracks true when you're pulling the rail through. All right? So once you get this, you can start making some guardrail. All right. To build this guardrail, we're going to start out with our posts. Okay? So now... I'm using quarter inch pine doweling, and you can get this at a hardware store or anywhere else. The reason why I'm not using balsa wood, because balsa wood isn't as stout, and what we're gonna do to this thing is we're gonna be drilling it and everything else, and we want it to hold together. Besides that, we're gonna be building some guardrail that actually can take quite a hit. So what we're gonna do is first off, was we're gonna cut this down. All right, so we take the dowel and we go ahead and we cut it down to one inch. So that works really good for the scale that we're working at. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead and get yourself a cordless drill or a, a power drill, whatever. I have a 558s bit in the end of this and you can use the 558s or you can use a 1 16th. The 1 16th, when it comes time to setting the nail, you won't have to take the, uh, the head off of it. If you use a 1 16th, it's a little bit too small, and what you gotta do is you gotta take that head off to slide it in. So I use a little bit bigger, so I can go ahead and drill my hole and set my nail, and, uh, works out great so this guy I've already went ahead and drilled the hole into it but I haven't set the nail yet so you can see I got the hole here I've gone ahead and sanded all the edges okay so after you cut it it's gonna be frayed and whatnot on the edges just grab a little bit of 80 grit sandpaper go ahead and just dress it up just knock them down a little bit and uh, Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because 
if you go take a look at guardrail, guardrail isn't exactly perfect. So once we got it down to that point, grab yourself a little piece of wood, set this guy on there. You can see the head sits right up into there. Okay, got it in. You wanna set it the rest of the way with a light hammer. Just tap it in a little bit. You don't need any glue on it yet. We want the nail to be able to float a little bit. And that's one of the reasons why I am doing the bigger hole and leaving the head onto it. If you use the 1 16th, you're not gonna get that play out of the nail. And when you're trying to set it on your layout, sometimes, you know, it's a little bit off kilter or whatnot. This allows you a little bit more flexibility to go ahead and set it in there and get a real good bite into layout and plus it gives you just that little bit of fraction of a uh, of play so you can get it all just set the way you want it now we don't have to worry about gluing it right now or anything else because when we go ahead and we set it in the layout we'll go ahead and use some pva to go ahead and set it in the place and the pva will go ahead and seep up into the underside of this and uh she'll be good to go all right, so now that we got that, your nail's in it. At this point in time, you can go ahead and paint this any way you want. So maybe you want to just go white or maybe you want to go ahead and paint it up so it's all weathered out. Um, I go ahead and paint them out just kind of a lighter color. This is just a piece of polystyrene that you can go ahead and and set them in there and just paint them up at will. That way they're all dry. It's kind of a nice way to hold on to them. That way when you're coming down to the later part, you can just pick them off of this and set them in. All right, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and let's start rolling some guardrail. All right, so now we're gonna start getting ready to do our guardrail. So first thing is, is you wanna get this aluminum flashing. You can go ahead and pick this up at a hardware store. Uh, a lot of times you'll find it in the roofing section over there. Uh, they use it on, you know, the roofs and, and stuff around the outside of the house. So the cool stuff, the cool thing about this, it's got the look that we're going after. And, uh, and it's very easy to manipulate and work with. So what we want to do is go ahead and cut this down to right about an inch and a sixteenth or an inch and a quarter so I just go ahead and I take a sharpie and I put a dot on through of where we're gonna go ahead and line this thing up and uh, once we get that all done Take a straight edge, line it up to where you need to be, mark your line out, now you want to make sure this is uh, it's good and straight, so when you start pulling it through the roller, uh, you want it as true as possible and if this isn't cut real nice and straight it's going to be a little bit hard for you to make sure that you're pulling it straight so once you get it to that point the nice thing about this aluminum is you can go ahead and cut it with some shears so at this point just go ahead and cut her down and it cuts real easy all right, so we'll get this all cut. Probably start there. All right, so we got our aluminum all cut. Um, it's pretty true. We got a little bit of a snaggle there. One thing we gotta remember is that we're dealing with, uh, with some metal here, guys, and uh, it can be sharp. So, one thing you want to get is, you know, some gloves 
when we start working with this through the roller because we're gonna have to put some pressure on it. You're gonna wanna grab it, be able to roll. And it's, it's nice to have that extra protection on your hands so you, uh, you're you not making a trip to the emergency room. So let's go ahead and uh, get this and grab that roller and uh, let's get this stuff made. All right, this is the roller that I'm gonna show you guys how to build. Now, I built it a little bit long so that you can place it between your legs when you go ahead and pull it. And it makes it a little bit easier that way. On the video, you'll see that I'm trying to do it on the table to demonstrate. But it is built a little bit longer so you can set it between your legs and go ahead and pull it. That way you can free both your hands when you do it. All right? All right, so we got our piece of aluminum. We have our roller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and feed this in and try to keep it as square as possible as far as towards the middle of that. So when you're doing this, you wanna roll the upper and keep kind of pushing it in and just kind of work it slowly. As it goes, the first time through is uh, is the hardest. After you get this one, you kind of keep on working it back and through, it starts taking better and better shape. So, Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed it down a little bit. You can notice it is a little bit thinner. And if you get some little barbs like that on the edge, just go ahead and grab your sandpaper and knock them down. That way you're not gonna be catching your fingers on this stuff when it's all said and done. So it looks a little bit like guardrail, but we're not quite all the way there. So what we're gonna do Let's grab a dowel and you'll see the back side here where it went on through. What we're gonna do now is kind of manipulate this and make it a roll. So you wanna take your doweling and just go ahead and walk it down while applying pressure on it on the board. So do that. This will slowly start to come around on you. Okay, and it's like when you rolled it the first time, it's a little bit more of a job, but as you do this, it'll get easier. And what we'll do is that we'll get that thing to roll a little bit. Okay, now that we went ahead and finished off doing the rolling and stuff on the guardrail. A little bit more trimming. Got it looking pretty good. Got a nice roll and everything else to it. We're gonna go ahead and lay it down here and we're gonna measure out every two inches and we're gonna go ahead and mark it. So we're gonna mark one at the end and we're gonna mark it every two inches. So every two inches you wanna go ahead and make a mark. All right, so we went ahead and marked it every two inches. Now we want to go ahead and take a punch, set it down on the mark that you just made, and go ahead and pop a hole through it. And this is where your posts are going to line up 
so we can go ahead and attach them. All right, so went ahead, made all our holes all the way down through for our post locations. And we got a little bit of marker on there still. So we're gonna take a little bit of thinner, and go ahead and clean it all off. We don't want any marker down there when we're doing this. So we get it all cleaned up, looking good. All right, there we go. Now, if there's still a little bit down in the hole, it's okay, because we're gonna have a braid in that area, and uh, it'll take care of it. So, we grab those posts that we made earlier, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it down, take the uh, guardrail, lay it up on top. Now. We want to make sure that we're not down too low or up too high. If you look at actual guardrail or posts, pretty much about even with the top rail. So, we go like this, we line it all up, it lined up there. We grab a braid. Now, these are just like a tiny type of finish nail. They call them braids. So, we're gonna go ahead, put that there, press it down just a little bit. We're gonna take our hammer, Punch it down all the way through. Now it's coming through the whole entire post and it's going into our board underneath it. That's okay. Take your punch, set it on there so we can finish it off the last little bit. Sets it into place. And go ahead and get this guy off of there. Takes a little bit of doing. And you'll notice that it sticks up on the back side. Get a pair of clippers. They're right down there at the base. Put your hand over it because they shoot up in the air and clip it off. And there you go. You got your post on there. It's nice and solid. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get this whole entire thing set with posts. We'll come back through, put a dab of super glue on each one just to secure it, make sure they're all nice and straight, and then it's ready to go on our layout. All right, so we got it all hammered in and uh, ready to go. So what I do is I take a little bit of liquid super glue and I put it on top of each nail head. And what this will do is soak down inside of it and it just reassures that it's going to stay in one place. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do this. We'll let it sit for a little while. And then we will go and put it out on our layout. Okay, so we got it all glued, the glue's dry. It's all set. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into this corner right here. So nice thing about this stuff is that we can bend it. So we can shape it any way we want. So I went ahead and got this shaped. Got my shape right there. Just needs a little bit more fine tuning. So I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and fine tune this. When I see you again, we're gonna have some guardrail on this corner. All right, so I went ahead and we got it all glued down, used some, some PVA. We're just waiting for it to dry. And uh, we got guardrail. So, if you like this, share it with others, subscribe to my channel, and uh, 
we're gonna have some really cool videos coming up. Next on the agenda, it's gonna be some realistic crash fence. So I like to show you guys how I made this. And uh, from there, we'll just uh, we'll keep on adding to this. So until then, you guys have fun. And from Boone Slot Car Garage, see you later.